The first integrated circuit is significant uh, because it was the first uh, building block of the computer technology age that we know today. And it grew from that one little chip into um, all of us having cell phones and laptops and computers on our desk and GPS in our car. And none of that would be possible without the first integrated circuit that my dad worked on. And it wasn't until um, I was working on the first computer that I worked on, which was an Apple II, and started thinking about it and talked to my dad about it and realized that, uh, gosh, the thing that, that he worked on is what's making this computer work. And then I started realizing how fascinating it was and how it was changing the world. It was like one-upping people when you say, hey, guess what my dad did? And it just, it's hard to describe that it just, it just fills my heart with pride. I couldn't be more proud of him. He started at TI in 1954, and it was in 1958 that um, Mr. Kilby came to TI, and the integrated circuit was uh, invented by Mr. Kilby and worked on by my dad. My dad was a technician at TI, and um, but he was um, very skilled at working with um, small things. So he was very good with small technology. Mr. Kilby, um, when he won the Nobel Prize for Physics in 2000 and gave his speech, uh, he actually mentions my dad and another technician by name as um, helping to build the first integrated circuit. And my brother, Jeff, was able to meet Mr. Kilby, and um, he was able to get Mr. Kilby to autograph the case that was holding the integrated circuit. Mr. Kilby is the one who invented the integrated circuit, um, but at the same time, uh, Fairchild Semiconductor in California was working on the same thing, a man by the name of Robert Noyce. When it went to the patent stage, um, there was uh, some disputes over the patent. My dad um, had to give a statement, a sworn statement, to the patent attorney at TI, and that's one of the items that we're including. And it um, explains the timeline of how the first integrated circuit came to be, who was working on it, when it was shown to the other people at TI. And um, in, the, in the statement um, to the patent attorney, my dad actually mentions that he has, um, Mr. Kilby gave him a couple of the circuits, um, and he still had them in his possession. Although Mr. Kilby invented the integrated circuit, no man is an island, and there were other people working on actually building it, and my dad was one of those people. Ultimately, we would love for whoever bought the circuits to put them on display. His work acknowledged in that way. It would just show the legacy that my dad left for the world.